at the Chun farm, which is a hydroponic farm. They produce hydroponic lettuce. And they are the same person who runs the farm is here with us, and he is going to give us an overview of what hydroponics is and how he has been able to make this endeavor a success. So let's go see. first thing that stood out to me at Chun Farm is their level of organization. But the main driving force for where it was right now when I walked in through the gate was passion. Basically, hydroponics is growing in a soilless medium. Here we use something called peat, uh, just the holy roots. So, we have a peat moss here, and we plant the seeds in here, and actually we use a nutrient film. So, basically, water with a fertilizer that runs through. It's a continuous circulating system, mm -hmm. uh, so nothing is wasted, no water is wasted. Um, the system runs 24 7. Basically, we have everything set out in stages, as you can see. You have the Nursery. So we plant seeds here to germinate. After about three weeks, we move them into a hardening stage here where they spend another two weeks. And then after that, they have to transfer out into the growing area for another three weeks. So it only takes about nine weeks, nine to ten weeks, depending on the time of year, to have to produce a, a lettuce. Well, for me personally, I, 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 had, moved, I, have, I had known of hydro, hydroponics from before, but I've never been on a hydroponic farm, to be honest with you all. So, when I came to Chun Farm and I saw what was going on, it was it was familiar to me. But what I really, to be honest, liked, what I really liked is the aesthetic look of everything. I liked how the, the lettuce was lifted off of the ground, where it's like about waist height, and I could just look out into the distance and I could just see green lettuce. Like all I'm just seeing is one uniform color right through. Um, can you tell me a bit more about the nutrient system? All right, so basically uh, what we use, uh, basically try to keep things simple here. So basically we use a calcium nitrate, a uh, water hydroponic grade calcium nitrate and a uh, micronutrient called plant called 71127, which is the basic NPK with some micronutrients. Um, that's, that's what we really show you using. What we what we found is that each plant or each variety of plant actually needs a specific uh, concentration of nutrient levels in it. So basically we've worked out for this particular variety um, what it was. Uh, so we use something like about 1400 parts per million for this with the ratio of uh, about 1 to 1.5 of calcium nitrate to the microclub to the 71127. Um, and basically that's it and that is mixed um, in the tanks which as you guys will see later on. Um, and that we mix that every day, we run it, and every day we keep adding whatever the plant takes, so we add back into the system, and it just keeps recirculating. Um, we monitor everything continually and just keep tweaking as we go along. So we wanted to know why are you involved in agriculture? Do you see it as a sustainable livelihood for you and your family? Um, I am involved in agriculture because I wanted to spend more time with my family. Uh, I was previously employed in IT. Um, uh, all over the world. Um, my last job was with the AGC and my time demands by the government and other people was a bit, well I, I for my personal thing was a little more than I would like to get because basically you're on call with them in IT 24-7. Something goes wrong they call me and I have to go. Um, this was our venue for me to spend time with my family. I'm my own boss, I get up in the morning, I come, I take care of my plants, I look around my shop, basically. If it's sustainable, well, I had a pretty, I was in the executive of IT in the government, and I left that from the farm. So, I would say, yes, it's sustainable because I'm doing it still, I've been doing it for the last six years. Um, it's just a matter of treating it as a business and not, uh, how should it a backyard operation, which most farmers do. We came into this to make money and that's why we're doing it. We are treating it as a business. Everything is worked out 
the items expenses cost everything we are review that on a daily basis and we continually tweak to try and improve and make things more cost effective so Mr. Dipsing explained that he has done a number of tweaks over the years. First, he maximized his space according to the growing stage of the plants. This means that every few weeks the plants are shifted from one space to another. He admitted that it is a bit more labor intensive, however it pays off in the long run as he harvests and regularly supplies one of the largest grocery chains in the country. He set up his own seedling station which is protected with mesh netting as birds that eat the ceilings are a pest to his production. Ceiling trees rest on simple metal structures, wire fencing and vinyl. This ensures a steady supply of ceilings for his factory-like production. In concern for his workers, proper coverage is in place so that planting only takes place in the pool. To speed up the process, he devised a simple contraption to punch 100 cups at a time and utilizes a handheld electronic planter which easily releases the tiny lettuce seeds one at a time but in quick succession. After lettuce is harvested, the cups are placed in a multiple punctured barrel of his own invention, which is then spun to release the peat moss growing medium. The cups are then sanitized for reuse. Everything on Mr. Dipsing's operation was locally sourced and built on the farm, which dispels the belief that all items for hydroponic production must be imported. He continues to make improvements with plans to add air pumps to remove the chlorine from his water supply, as well as timers to measure water flow. He reiterates that this is the key to his success in that he is constantly seeking ways to improve upon farm operations rather than doing the same thing over and over without the best possible results.